Sammy from Get Your Rock Out here with the lovely Sammy from Ensiferum. How are you doing today? I'm I'm doing just fine, you know. Cider, sun is shining, music, nice people, so what could be better? What kind of cider is that? It looks pink. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> this uh, is the second one uh, for today. The they have a long list there in uh, wow. in a tent and I have a I'm on a mission from God to try one each today. <laughs> In that case, I'll find you on the floor later, passed uh, out let's the see, there, Let's see, there was actually uh, one lady who said, yeah, we're gonna... She actually asked how many I have to drink before I'm under the table. I said, for cider, you, you don't have enough cider here to get me under the table. Uh, but she said, okay, later we go with single month whiskey. So <laughs> let's see where you find me. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Excellent, thank you. Now, you're not actually playing Bloodstock this weekend. What's it feel like to be at a festival and not playing? <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, it's, it's really interesting. Like I told you, it's, it's been almost like 15 years the last time I was, was in the festival and not playing there. Uh, just getting hammered. and It's really nice, and especially here in Bloodstock. Because people are so super friendly. I actually said it uh, this morning in a hotel breakfast. I noticed it again, why I love this country. I was sitting there and people next to me were ordering a cup of tea or something like that. And they talked almost two minutes for that. They were just so polite to each other. <laughs> I was like, yes, <laughs> keep doing that. That's incredible. That's why I love UK. <laughs> That's I don't know if you know this yourself. But you you know, I will so look out for it now. I will, I will. It'll be interesting to watch. <laughs> Um, so you guys, you've got an album out in the next couple of weeks um, and you're also touring in the next couple of weeks. Yes, so, busy times. <laughs> yes, yes it is. It, last few weeks have been really crazy. I, I've done, I, well, I haven't counted how many interviews. I've done like phoners or email interviews. And, and uh, yeah, it's been really busy. And in two, less than two weeks, the album will come out. And a few weeks from that, uh, we're going to start European tour, a few shows in Finland and uh, then the actual tour and a few shows in UK also. So it's going to be busy. And I think next year also will be busy. We're playing this uh, 7,000 tons of metal cruise again. That would be amazing. And uh, of course, we're going to tour on every continent. And we're also planning to do a UK tour. Uh, just like two weeks, just UK. Because even though we have played here on every tour, but we haven't really focused to play here because there's definitely a, a big buzz going on here and we have a good fan base so we need to work on UK much more. Wonderful, that's really good to hear. Um, the new album, what can you tell us about it? The new album? Whoa, what do you want to hear? Everything. <laughs> Everything. Everything, okay. <laughs> Back in the year 1995. Uh, well, it's a uh, it's a challenging album for a listener. Uh, it's a step forward or sideways or somewhere on banana. So hopefully not backwards. No, definitely not backwards. Even though there's uh, some people say there's a certain sound from the first albums, but I think that's from uh, we were much more aware what kind of sound we want for the album. We had long discussions even before we started doing demos that we want more organic sound for the album and. Uh, we had uh, pre-production meetings with the guy who was mixing the album and recording the album, Healy Hilesma, that uh, we want to keep it as organic and raw as possible, you know, no triggers in drums. And uh, and when we recorded drums, uh, everybody was playing along and uh, we were recording every track even then. And most of the bass lines are from drum sessions. So it's like pretty old school. And it sounds like, you know, we're jamming much more. It sounds more like a live thing. So I think that's something that reminds people of the old material but on the other hand there's a lot of uh, new elements that we have found on the last few albums like these orchestrations or bigger choirs and and on the other hand there's uh, much more room for beautiful folk parts or these epic uh, orchestration parts so we were much wiser with the arrangements this time you guys, you always use a huge range of instruments when it comes to your music. Yeah. I mean, do you, are you constantly thinking to yourselves, we want to use more and more and more? Well, in a way, yeah, but it's, it's not like, a, it's not something that we feel obligated to do, but it's, it's more about that we want to push our boundaries. 
like on the new album there's a uh, this song passion proof power which is like 70 minutes long song oh, and wow. you can hear didgeridoo wow. on that one and balalaika really? That's yeah yeah and really the grand piano and uh, opera singing and and when we were writing that, the working title was uh, Around the World in 15 Minutes. <laughs> yeah, but we definitely want to try different kind of stuff and uh, yeah, push our boundaries also in that, that way. And Do you still enjoy experimenting with all of that as much as you ever did? Yes, exactly. It, it should be fun and not, not stressing about, oh, we can do that or we have to do this or this kind of music. That's, that's when you lose something of the creative process. We want to keep as open mind as possible and uh, well try different kind of things. Uh, you know we have policy with the band that uh, when we arrange the songs together that uh, every idea has to be tried just even for once you know even though somebody says okay let's play this in reggae or whatever people might be like oh shit but we will try it and you know we're crying tears sometimes because it's so ridiculous but <laughs> But that way also you can find something, okay, actually that rhythm thing worked, okay, maybe we can go somewhere from there. It takes time, you know, we're really slow composers, but uh, that way it, it stays fun and it kind of honest also. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to thank us today. You. It, thank you, it was an honour. It has been a pleasure. And um, we'll really, really look forward to you heading back to the UK and let's hope it does happen very soon. In September. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers.